praise the lord today i would like to discuss matthew chapter chapter 14 verses 22 to 36 in this context um we we can see that one the jesus was walks on the water and also uh, that's the context so i think in the christendom everyone are familiar with the story that jesus was walking uh, or the jesus walks on the water but i just explaining to one for the story because a few uh, verses before we know that one the john the baptist beheaded in the prison because of herod uh, the b- brother's wife or and her daughter asking to behead the john the baptist and the disciple came and said to him that uh, then they went and told to jesus john the baptist beheaded and also the the person who's um, proclaimed the kingdom of heaven and he beheaded and during that time jesus was trying to get some secret time to get the prayer but the problem was he the once he just went into the secret time but the crowd was followed him but the jesus compassion on to this crowd and to to heal all the sick and to um, to be with them uh, he had compassion on them and heal the sick and also when they get hungry and the disciples they were lot, totally frustrated maybe who knows then uh, they came to jesus and said that to one these people just send them away then you get some good time because the john the baptist get beheaded and it's really a horrible time and everyone were worrying and even we were really stand for proclaiming the kingdom of heaven but the great warrior is already beheaded and we don't know what's our end and the herod is literally angry against him in verse 14 verses 1 it says at the time herod and tetrarch heard that report about jesus and said to the attendants just because of the john the baptist um, uh, the problem happening with the jesus so that's why uh, they get angry against the john the baptist and we don't know what happening with us um, but the jesus uh, give the the uh, food to the people that we had here only five loaves out of the bread and the two fishes but the jesus bring that one to the heaven or the uh, thank that to, to god and to multiply that one and feed all the people gathered there once he done and once they satisfied so jesus provide their physical need either the food when they are hungry and the second thing is when the people are sick he healed and also the god jesus give a, a spiritual food all the time so the jesus secured the people in a old manner then he went to uh, some time to pray the jesus said send a disciple to the other side of the sea and the jesus spent the time to the prayer once the persecution happened and once the great warriors of the the kind uh, christendom is fall down or the persecutor or something don't be get annoyed be bold and start to pray so spend more time so, so personal prayer is more powerful than anything else so time to get so personal devotion is much more greater than anything else so time to spend when you are worrying i usually quote the five kind of weakness or the five kind of weak first point the people are affecting our worst one is hungry when they are tired second is tired third one is when they are lonely fourth one is when they are depressed and fifth one is when they are low so sad so these fifth cases people are different and they are weak maybe they get weak so during that time we spend the time to pray with the god and verse 23 after he had dismissed them he went up on the mountain side by himself to pray later that night he was there alone when spend the time when you are alone and find a personal devotion with the god to to clarify yourself all your concerns sad and all your problems to hand over your concern to god when your secret time verse 24 and the boat was already considerably distant from the land buffeted by the waves because of the wind was against it so the jesus sent the disciples to the other side but the waves were very heavy the winds like because of the wind was against it because the people were going the disciple were going to the other side but wind was flowing towards to this side 
verse 25 shortly before dawn jesus went out to them walking on the lake then once he done reconcile not reconcile once he hand over the concern and pray to god and rectify his problems and he discuss a great commission with the god then after he just go to the disciples again because he know that his mighty weapon is not the anything else apart from this disciple his weapon is disciple he sharpen the weapon he want to sharpen the weapon with a faith and to know about and even the sometimes weapons are really getting um, worse or they get rust or something jesus is always trying to clean the weapon and uh, that disciple his was his weapon verse 26 then the disciple saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it is a ghost they said and cried out to fear because they get fear because maybe um, they were a uh, a uh, um, the usual proverbs in that places that the ghost will come during this time and they, if it's a wind maybe it's due to the ghost maybe different kind of stories are roaming around that place or other hand maybe they all may be worrying about uh, the matter about the john the baptist beheaded and maybe they were little start to frustrated about themselves jesus called them in the beginning i will to anointed you as to fish the people but right now the persecution start then now the people are getting problems maybe they think that we don't know what's our end but we know that maybe jesus is with us then maybe we get some better position or better thing but they were a little bit worrying but that worry is turned to fear that uh, about these physical problems verse 27 then during that time jesus walked to, towards to them through the lake on the lake verse 27 but jesus immediately said to them take courage it is it is i don't be afraid take courage it is i don't be afraid take courage it is i don't be afraid if you are really want to overcome your inward um, uh, bad qualities like uh, angry or the any kind of uh, self dis, uh, lack of self control or any kind of the quality which you are trying to affect on uh, trying to overcome and also you feel that you are a fear to slave of sin you are fear of you are man you are fear of people then here the jesus said take courage it is i don't be afraid i will help you to overcome it then the lord it is you peter replied tell me to come to you on the water the peter getting more courage and just start to jump on it and uh, verse 29 come he said jesus said okay let co- let come then peter go down out to the boat and walk around it he literally peter could could able to walk for a while then water and came towards jesus verse 30 but when they saw the wind he was afraid and begin to sink cried out lord save me because still the wind was heavy the wind was really against the flow then he was bit afraid to see everything and immediately jesus reached out his hand and caught him you of little faith he said why do you doubt what here says that even though if you get the courage there is a problem with the faith or the little faith so let us pray to god that god please increase our faith please increase our little faith i want to have a good faith in you that the the peter have a, a, a faith can you imagine that when the jesus said the calm he didn't care about the wind against flowing against the the boat and he didn't care about this such a very deep sea he just literally jump without looking on any atmosphere or situation such a great faith he has but the problem comes he just fall down jesus look on such a great faith on the peter and said that you have little faith and when i come think about myself how much faith i have i don't have jesus may say say to me that you don't have any faith god please increase our faith was 32 and when they climbed into the boat the wind died down 
then the, when they they get into the boat then wind died down verse 33 then those who were in the boat worshiped him saying truly you are the son of god here we can see the real worship to see about the real they feel the jesus in their personal life even though in the faith by faith even though they have the little faith they try to overcome their emotional imbalance or they're trying to penetrate on the problem but they couldn't overcome but the jesus helped them it is a gradual progress if you are trying to overcome them any emotional imbalance then if you are f- feel when the problems come the wind against you maybe you couldn't maybe you fall down many times but jesus bring you to the boat and said to them then um, uh, then you feel the real glory of jesus that help you even though when you fall each down then feel you feel the the presence of a father then you really start to worship in that truly you are the son of god verse 34 when their heart crossed over they landed at gennesaret 35 and when the man of the place recognized jesus they sent word of the surrounding country people brought all their sick to him and begged him to let the sick just touch the edge of his cloth and all who touched it were healed the clarity of jesus is there is no partial healing in uh, jesus uh, list there is no partial ministry in jesus book he is the god of perfection and uh, he is expecting a perfect life from us and it's not practical to get a perfection in a one day but we are pursued to god we are pressed to perfection towards to the eternal life so each day each time and we fall down be up and down and up and down and up and down but there is a gradual progress in our life we are grateful it is not about the condemn with our sin it's not about the slave of sin just because of love of father we overcome day by day we are living overcome day by day our graph is progress is a upward gradually up increasing our faith gradually increasing our overcoming spirit that's the one what jesus need God bless you. Amen.